I will explain the principle of starting it or not. How it works to start the engine. So this is the starting gear motor. And this is the main line coming from the air button. This is the main valve coming in. This is the reducing valve. The operating pressure of this uh, starting motor is between 7 to uh, 10 bars. So this is the pressure of the reducing valve coming in. This is the relay valve. Relay valve. This is the starting gear motor. This is the engine drive that feeds the driver. So when you start the engine, this is the start motor. The cylinder valve will be the This is the cylinder valve. So this valve, this valve is connected here on the relay valve. So this is the relay valve. The air will come to the cylinder. After the cylinder dies, the air will go here on the side. After that, this air will push the video. Start. This gear will start to lay on this pinion to engage on the flywheel. When the pinion engages on the flywheel, there is a connection of air inside it. So the air will pass on this side. The air that comes from here will pass on this side to push the pinion on this relay valve. If this relay valve will open, So once the RPM of the flywheel reaches to 125 RPM, this solenoid valve will stop to supply air from here. So this pinion will dissipate and the turbine will stop to rotate. So that is the principle of this turbine uh, stopping air. Good day, Kabaro. Now we will start to overhaul the starting air motor of diesel generator. The maker of the starting air motor is Ingersoll Run. First thing to do before overhauling is we have to put a marker on the motor housing and inlet cover. After putting a marker, we will take out the four bolts of inlet cover. So this inlet cover has four bolts. It is located at the back. Take out all four bolts. And then separate the inlet cover. This inlet cover has a gasket. If the gasket was damaged, we can fabricate a map. You can use a map. Then separate the motor housing by heating it by zinc. We can use a zinc to separate the motor housing. the motor housing is separated together with the turbine motor so this is the turbine motor we can separate it from the motor housing now this is the turbine motor assembly Now we can separate the gear case assembly. We can use a flat screwdriver to separate it. Now the gear case assembly was separated. So this is the gear case where the gear is installed in the bearing. 
Now this is the whole assembly of turbine motor side. Now we have to take out the drive housing. First is we have to put a marker also. Then take out the bolts. This is M8 bolts. We have to take out all the bolts and separate the drive housing by using a flat screwdriver. Now you can have an access to the shaft of the drive housing. This one is the drive housing shaft that drives the pinion. This is the drive housing inside of that is the pinion. We can take out the pinion by taking out the snap ring. After we take out the snap ring, then we can disassemble the pinion drive so the pinion drive has shift ring so this shift ring is in two pieces part maybe you are wondering that it is broken but it is normal it is in two pieces now we already disassemble the whole starting air motor so this is the whole concept of Starting air motor. So this is the pinion. So the air will go here. The main air. Starting air. Will go to this side. It will travel here. It goes to this hole on the side. This is connected here. So it is connected here. The air will go from this side, this hole, then after that, it will go here, on this side, this will drive the turbine, so this is the turbine, this side of the turbine is fit on this side, of the hole, this side, so this, this is the hole of this turbine plate, that is also on the other side. So both sides have a hole for the air. So that air will drive this blade to retire the shaft. So when the air comes here, it will drive this turbine rotor blade inside. So can you see that when the air comes here, both sides that will rotate. Hawakan mo lang. See that? This plate will rotate inside and then it will drive the shaft. So when the shaft rotates, it has a pinion gear. So this pinion gear is coming on this side. So this is the pinion gear. And this is the gear race. This pinion gear will drive here. It's fit on this side and drive this gear. So this gear will rotate on this gear race. This is gear race. After that rotate, after this uh, gear will rotate, this one will rotate. You see that? When this one is rotating, this shaft on the other side is also rotating. The pinion gear is connected here. Can you see that? The pinion gear also will rotate. This one. So on this side, the pinion gear is... So the pinion gear is inside of this one 
Ben, this Kenyan gear. Hawakan mo, hawakan mo. This Kenyan gear is coming forward and back. So with the control air, push this Kenyan gear. So with the starting air, control air starting, come here. This Kenyan gear will make forward and rotate the flywheel. So the air coming from here will go on this side and open the relay valve. So this one has a spring. Can you see that? Push. See that? There is a spring inside that make this pinion on the backward. So the common problem of this turbine is the blade here inside this blade. The tip of that blade is already broken. So. With the air coming here and rotate that vane inside, it cannot turn. It cannot turn this shaft anymore because this turbine blade inside the tin is already broken. So now we have to open this turbine in order to check the tin of this. So we will take a look the date of the turbine nozzle. So I think the the date is okay. Did you see that? So the common problem of this. Motor is this plate. So this plate sometimes already broken and cannot turn this motor anymore. Ah, kamo si. The problem of this rotor, sometimes this blade is broken, and when this blade is broken, this rotor will not turn anymore. But as of now, as I can see, there's no problem with it. So I think we will assemble again. Now we can start to assemble the starting air motor. First is to assemble the gear case assembly. We can use a high temperature silicone if the o-rings are old or we don't have spare so that it will not leak. Totally fit the gear case and the gear case assembly. Next is we have to assemble the turbine motor assembly to the motor housing. Make sure that the hole of this uh, turbine motor is coincide with the hole of this motor housing. Make sure that the motor is flat on the motor housing. Then assemble the motor to the gear case assembly. Install 
the inlet cover in line with your marker and put the four pieces bolts at the back and tighten it after assemble make sure that the shaft will rotate using the pinion drive don't assemble the drive housing if the shaft is hard. Then you have to test it by compressed air if the shaft will turn. And that's it. That's the whole assembly of turbine. Oh, testing, testing, testing. Direct yung hangin. Pipigit, paluwag, paluwag. Kasi oh. Oh. Ah. 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 Ah.